I'm not confused about my identity. I know I'm a man. I don't want to be a girl. I want to act as a girl because I know I can do it and I know it's exciting. Women's choices are so much better. You can create something that says something as soon as it walks in the room. A man, what does he do? He's got a tie, a pair of socks. That's it. I don't think there's a trauma at all. It's just, it's just more exciting than being Michael. After I got divorced, I went to Thailand and uh, I bought a bar and uh, I stayed there for a year serving people and uh, in the next bar there was a lady boy I got on really well with and we used to play pool every night for a couple of games of pool. I used to go over to their bar and play pool. Oh, not just with her but with a few of the... This bar had a lot of lady boys in it. Um, and in fact, it was a bit of a competition who played with me, you know. Because it was quite good, but not as good as some of them. <laughs> but there was one which I saw her hit her from a distance and I caught her eye. And it was that moment in time I knew I'd get on with her. Yeah, I came back to England and um, started work again. So this was um, 2008. Wendy's first night out was Halloween, 2013. Or maybe it's more to do with you know showing off. It's a great, you know, as a man you can't dress well to express yourself. Women's choices are so much better. Why should you women have all the choice? And the makeup totally change your face. I can knock 20 years off my face with this makeup. I hate women. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I want to have sex with them. <laughs> yeah, I love women and I hate them. It's, it's you know, it's weird. And, you know, I don't, the things I don't like about women is, you know, yak, 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 nagging and moaning and bitching. And, and the, the good thing? And uh, the good thing about women, well, they're gentle and they're kind and they're caring and, you know, the polite and most of them <laughs> loving loyal so you know it's like it's, it's a complicated thing it's very complicated but, you know, I think about it a lot like, how did I end up doing this and I, I thought back where you know certain things start a lot of it does come from Thailand but it's not all Thailand because some of it started before that 
when people tell me I'm gay, I don't feel like I'm gay. Yeah, I will fuck a man up the ass, but only because that's what they want me to do. No, I don't want to do it. But, you know, that's how I started out. I've done it, and then actually, I had sex with a man a few months ago and I enjoyed it. I had a proper orgasm. I think about the sea crashing on the rocks and the mist coming up and the taste of the salt on your, on your lips and, and the, the moisture landing on cold wet bodies and, and the flotsam and the jetsam and, and the, the noise of the water crashing and the foam rubbing and the rocks rolling the pebbles. Wendy's relationship with Mike? Well, when I'm Wendy, I blame Michael for everything. And when I'm Michael, I blame Wendy for everything. See, Michael spends his money on rent and cars. <laughs> and Wendy, Wendy, you know, spends it on drink and cigarettes. <laughs> and fun. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's quite, I like it, because I've created a bit of, a, it's, you know, a nice relationship they have. And Wendy can say things that Michael can't, you see. Michael, Wendy can go and approach people and say something outrageous that Michael would get a punch in the mouth of, but Wendy wouldn't. Wendy can walk down the street and ask for a cigarette and she'll get one. Michael, no chance. I bet if Wendy sat on the tube wait, begging she'd get money, Michael wouldn't. So it's an opportunity to be ready. Yeah. Well, it gives you more options, doesn't it? And then I've also discovered that girls like Wendy. I mean, I didn't know, I wasn't expecting this. Because, I mean, I, ha -ha. see, I met someone and I thought, because he. Because I hadn't done Wendy at the time, I met someone who did something similar. And I was like, I was like, what? You thought you'd get a girl by dressing up as a girl? And I went, ha ha, what a load of tosh. And then I do it and then all of a sudden I've got all these girls who want to be my friend and they're giving me clothes and helping with my makeup and dressing me up. And you know, oh come out, we'll have a girl's... I went, what? What an opportunity. And I thought, Oh, there's something good here. <laughs> something good here. There's something in this. I'm many things. I'm a poet, I'm a minstrel, a facade, a creation. You know, the idea, well, idea, there is an idea, was that, you know, she could be who she wants to be, and then you know, I'm trying to get her to be the girl that people want. I don't think she's got no limits, because it's, it's, it's fictional character that's been created. No, I'm single, divorced, I've had uh, two children, 
Yes, they know. No problem. How, how they were acting? Okay, very well. Yeah? Yeah. You were honest with them? Yes. Mm -hmm. Right from the start. Brutally. It's, you're more anonymous in London. You know, in a small town, they know who you are. You know where you live. In London, they don't. You know, all right, a few people might know, but I don't care. I love it. <laughs> well, you know, there's places to go and club and do things that you know you just can't. It's not available. The nearest bus stop from my house is two miles. He just when likes the foot, sports football team, but yeah. he's actually not from the sports team. That's a horrible place. That's my team, in a way. I don't know why it's my team. I don't know. I have no idea where it's my team. But you know what you're going to change? It is, and I'm not going to change. Wendy's fun. Well, you can go out with Wendy's fun, but I mean, sometimes it's not easy. There's difficult stuff. Yeah, well, you have to be worried about your safety. It's... In fact, you have to be quite brave to do this and walk on the streets. Because, you know, people laugh at you. And I've had things thrown at me and told them disgusting. I've been thrown out of my place because my sexual habits to myself. I said, what's the fucking sexual habits? I'm going to I wish I had some. It's like, all I'm doing is like getting dressed and going out. I'm not like flouncing around the house dressed up. I just, when I get, spend a couple of hours getting dressed. Got some Polish guy. No, no, he was Greek. He said I was intimidating him. All I did was like get out of my room and go out. You know? Who fucking dare you come to my country and try and get me thrown out? Well. Yeah, well, well, I was I was kind of homeless and I was staying in various hostels. And um, I had a a really good time at the generator in um, Russell Square. One night I just went and there was a karaoke on, which I thought, oh, maybe I can have a go at karaoke. So, because I want, I mean, you know, I fancy myself as a singer. And um, I thought, mm, you know, I've had people in the past tell me I can't sing, so, and I think I can, even if it's not that good. So, to sell my soul, he's already in me. Nelson, I'm not serious about anything. You never get fucking serious about me. I don't believe in serious, honestly. I want this world to be like happy and fun, not fucking worrying about bullshit that's work target related. They're cunts, man. They're just working for a machine to make money. Fuck them. We're living our lives here. Go to hell. You know, people. Why does it say on your birth certificate what your father did? What's it got to fucking do when you were born, what your father did? Wendy's not here at all. You're talking to Michael now, the brains of the organisation. There's no Michael. There's no Wendy. If you don't like it, fuck off. <laughs> it's who I decide I'm going to be. Not you. What you see is not what you get. You get what I give you. Do you know what I mean? So if I want to be Wendy, I can be Wendy. And I don't have to put a silly voice on either. I can just sort of sit around and pretend to be Wendy. Or I can be Michael. Which way do you want it? Which way do you want it, sweetie? It's all about um, quality, not quantity. You know, if you never do anything, you'll never achieve anything. You'll never experience anything. I've had the strangest life anyone's ever had.
my dream is to have a karaoke bar and um, occasionally dress up as Wendy and do the odd, uh, do the shows, yeah, and do the numbers. And I like the idea of maybe Wendy being a, a rock star sort of thing, fronting a band, but we'll see what happens with that. That's possible. That kind of lifestyle is possible.